Is it possible that one day ties will be cut between Guadeloupe and France? Will the archipelago one day want to cut itself off from the European Union? These are the questions being asked after six weeks of social conflict with mass demonstrations, violence and street blockades. To find some answers, we visited the archipelago's economic capital, Pointe à Pitre. To better manage social dialogue and face the economic and political realities in this French overseas region, should there be decentralization, more political autonomy and local decision making? Yes, if there were more power to make decisions locally, that would be better for all Guadeloupians if they got started on this. In a referendum in 2003, almost 75% of people voted against a different status, against more political autonomy. But what's the view today? In a local market, we met Rose Alain. <laughs> it's time for Guadeloupians to decide for themselves. We're fed up with our decisions being made 8,000 kilometers away. Nothing's ever done fairly. We're a totally separate colony. We have wayward youth, kids going off the rails, old people dying alone in their homes like dogs because no social policy is put in place correctly. I'm strongly in favor of Guadeloupe's independence. Such open demands in front of the camera are rarely seen here. In the town of Basse-Terre, Guadeloupe's top official says it makes him angry to hear people using the word colony. But is it time to take a fresh look at the future status of the territory? From next month, an official period of reflection will begin. Guadeloupe must now get down to work because the unrest wasn't good for our economy, our image and social cohesion. The period of reflection announced by the French president will consist of a wide debate on issues such as the setting of prices, social dialogue, questions of governance. The institutional question will also be on the agenda. La question institutionnelle sera à l'ordre du jour à travers la gouvernance de ces états généraux. People find it hard to see themselves as part of the complex, multi-layered system of political power here. Alongside the Préfet, there are two bodies of elected officials, a general council and a regional council, which critics describe as expensive and ineffective. The president of the regional council is calling for institutional reform. He wants one single assembly with more local power. He's calling for a referendum in December and he thinks the upcoming debate could be useful. To understand the need for this debate, you have to know a little bit about ancient and recent history. Since the abolition of slavery, structures haven't really changed. Big property owners, company chiefs, and when I say chiefs, I mean big company chiefs, they're often white, often descendants of colonizers and slave traders. We have to get rid of monopolies. There has to be more open and less distorted competition, so to speak. We have to sort out social problems, injustice, inequality, differences between the haves and have-nots, and then the political problems, the problem of statutes, the institutional problem. Should we keep the status quo, evolve, and if we evolve, will we leave Europe? Faut-il évoluer? Et si on évolue, faut-il sortir de l'Europe? In Santa Rose, we met Nadine and her niece Sylvie. They were born in Guadeloupe, but their families took them to Paris when they were young. Four years ago, they returned, only to be left disillusioned. In Paris, they made a living. Here in Guadeloupe, they're unemployed. Nadine and Sylvie don't want to break away from France and Europe, but they do want radical changes to employment policies. So Guadeloupians come first. When big companies open new stores, they tend to bring in workers from France. I'm sorry, but before doing that, there are lots of people here asking for work. 
qui demande à travailler. We should take on Guadeloupian workers first. Take the example of the Royal Fort Hotel. The majority of people who work there are from Sweden. It's not possible. While we have young people who drift from pillar to post, us as well. We're asking only one thing to work. I applied to the Royal Fort. They asked if I spoke Swedish. They asked if I speak English. Sorry, but no. But I do want to make up rooms. I'm not sure if you need English or Swedish to change the sheets or clean the toilets. Apparently you do. Closed for many years, the hotel has been renovated at a cost of 23 million euros, a third of that covered by European funding. But should the rules on the free movement of workers in the EU be modified to guard jobs for Guadeloupians, a quarter of whom are unemployed? Guadeloupe is part of a group called the Conference of Peripheral Maritime Regions of Europe. The Secretary General told Euronews that compared to other countries, French overseas regions still have what he called fuddy-duddy neo-colonial status, which results in underdevelopment. The president of the regional council shares this view, as does Fred Reno, a political scientist and expert on Guadeloupe. He recommends more legislative and fiscal autonomy and supports putting Guadeloupians at the front of the job queues. I think more local responsibility, therefore more local autonomy, will be of benefit to France's most distant overseas territories. Even in French areas, it should be possible to accept the idea that when the skills are the same, a local person is chosen. Well, that's where the problem lies. How do we loosen the shackles of French centralization while staying in the heart of Europe? Today, we have to leave behind what we call legislative identity, the fact that we have the same model as the French model, the same as they have for French institutions. Today, we have to have another model for us, for Martinique, for Guyana, a model that's adapted to our situation, legally specific. That means that French laws are applied here, but those that are are not adaptable are not. We can always give local councils special fiscal powers, like in the Azores or Madeira or the Canary Islands, just like today in Saint Martin, Saint Barthélemy, so the local councils can manage their own finances. Things have to change, but within a European context, benefiting further from structural funding and staying on the path towards convergence. The French president is expected to visit Guadeloupe in April to launch the official period of reflection on the archipelago's future. Many say it's difficult to predict exactly which way public opinion will swing.